Good morning everyone, Lori Marie here, Mixed Media Artist in Vallejo, California, fresh out of the shower. Uh, so, playing in the altered book, and how do you know when a piece is done? So I thought this piece was done, and it just didn't make me go, ah. Oh. <laughs> so I played some more, until the piece did make me say, ah. Oh. <laughs> So I'm taking you through the whole journey, so you get to see the whole thing. Uh, you get to see me finish the piece and then uh, redo the end of the piece. So that's what happens uh, in mixed media. You just don't know till you know. So uh, I am continuing to thank those that are supporting through Patreon, and I am continuing to thank those that have contributed to our village. And I am continuing to say thank you for those that are ordering things on my Amazon links. All of those things uh, help me keep the lights on, help me keep the supplies on the table. So, speaking of table, let's go. See you on the table. So here's our project for today. Cut a window in there. Uh, stamped a dragonfly on there. That's one of her symbols. And then lovely, lovely Frida. Butterfly wings for her hair, a little embellishment, some uh, pen nibs for earrings, fun background with gesso, and of course the spray acrylic paints. All right, let's just jump right in. I'm at the center of the signature. I'm gonna remove six pages, so it would be six full pages. Now remember, I have quite a hefty book. It's got a lot of pages, so I can tear out a lot of pages. Now this is the back of that stitched page. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue a few pages on there to make sure that that's nice and sturdy as well. There again, I remind you, I have a lot of pages in this book, so it's not like I'm going to run out. Mm, handsome hubby's building a shed in the back. We can hear him pounding away. Then I'm going to create a four page here, a sturdy page with four pages here. I'm going to glue those together. Now this is actually going to be like a three page spread, so I've gone to the next signature and I'm going to take out six full pages. All right, now I'm going to glue these four pages together. And that will create our third sturdy page. So now we have a sturdy page on the back of that, a sturdy page in the center, and one sturdy page on the side, okay? Actually, I'm gonna do one more sturdy page. That'll give us four sturdy pages that we're playing with. I'm gonna cover this two page spread with underpants, leaving this alone in the center, and underpants on that two page spread. Okay, I have my underpants here and here, not here, here and here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take my gift card or credit card or whatever you're doing and put some gesso down on both sides here. Take the two pages, let's smush them together, pull them apart for texture. Do the same thing, I'll put down the gesso and smush them together and let that dry. So there it is, and we shall let those pages dry. All right, I have a copy of a bird cage and a piece of acetate or plastic. I don't know what it is, and I don't know what it's from. I just had it in my drawer. But what I'm going to do is take my black Sharpie, and to the best of my ability, I am going to trace this bird cage. It's going to be wonky, just because that's the kind of girl that I am. All 
All right, there we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through here and put some barbs on this. All right, so I have all the barbs on that uh, bird cage. Starting to collect gesso and Mod Podge on my fingers. Let's bring Frida in and look at this. That is gorgeous. So we're going to figure out what to do there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put her on a thin piece of cardboard and cut her out. All right, I fun, found some fun butterfly wings. I'm going to uh, create her hair or crown with that. Let me talk about why I've put these focal points on the um, cardboard because that is not something that I do all the time. And I just really want her to have a very flat background. And since I'm making lots of textures on the background, I want her to have a little bit more stability, not stability, uniformity. We did go off the cardboard a little bit there, and yep, I am okay with that. Give her a little jewel there. Does it have to go the other way? Oh, Frida, we just ripped your face. It's okay. We're okay. <laughs> That's a close one. All right, Frida, we're going to let you dry, and then we will cut you out. Rob just informed me that he's going to be doing some noisy stuff in his studio, so I'll take this opportunity to play with the words on one page. I'll just choose one page and create Frida's poem. Okay, so the light's getting a little weird, and it is time for me to... W-A-L-K, Hudson, but I want to secure, there's a few things I want to do before I go. So I'm bringing in some sewing pattern. I have some words set aside, and I know me, I will lose them promptly if I don't get them stuck on something. So I'm just going to grab a piece of sewing pattern and glue those words down on there. And then they won't get lost or blow away or be misplaced. Okay. I'm going to bring in the raspberry. See if we can get any action with the alcohol. I don't know. Looks like we can. that dry. How about that? Beautiful. Of course, I would love it if I could bring some of that white back. So we shall see. Oh yeah, looks like I'll be able to. I'm going to take some sandpaper to these two pages. Hmm. Now that's gorgeous. All right, let's go to the other two pages. Not quite dry. Bring it in aubergine. Brush that around, let that dry. I'm bringing the petrol back in. I 
alcohol drops. and glorious. Let's let that dry. Oops. All right, I turned the lights down a little bit. Hopefully that's not too dark there. I'm going to take my sandpaper in and bring back some of that background. So this is a page from the book. So I'm going to use this as a template. I am just going to wing it. So I just like the looks of that. Yes, I do. So we're going to use this as a template to cut into these two pages. We'll save these for tags. I'm going to cut this down to size so I can glue it in the book. Now I'm placing the birdcage in that window, closing it up. I'm going to put my rice bag on here and let this dry. All right, I'm going to bring Frida back in and I'm going to cut her off a little bit so I can center her more on the page. I'm going to bring in my tacky glue, put tacky glue on the back of this cardboard, El Paso taco shells, I think that's very appropriate, and I'm going to stick her down to the page. Oh, good morning, dark o'clock here, let's see, oh she's beautiful. I'm going to leave this uh, hanging over, looks like we need to re-glue this area here, and I'm going to trim this off. While I'm waiting for that new glue to dry, I'm just going to rip my poem out of my sewing pattern here and decide how that's going to go because I can rip or cut each one of these out. 
I didn't lose it, and that was my intention. I'm going to go ahead and Mod Podge that poem on here with the sewing pattern. Mod Podge under and over. Since it already has Mod Podge on it, it may not go real translucent. We shall see. I'm okay with that. What's really nice about these paints is they have the appearance of the um, watercolor, but they have the stability of acrylic, which is <laughs> really nice. All right, I'm going to take my Stabilo to the edge of the focal points, edge of the page, edge of the window, edge of the page. I just cut that little hummingbird out there. Stuck that there. All right, going in for it. All right, so I took my Arteza yellow and I gave her some dots, of course. Her little pen nibs for earrings. So fun, I just poked holes in her ears and stuck, the, gave her some earrings. So there it is, the completed page. Go create, go play, go have fun. So this is a very good lesson on how do you know when a piece is done? You know a piece is done when you feel peaceful about it. And I do not feel peaceful about this at all. It's this window that's bothering me. So I am going to take that out of there. So I cut that plastic out. I do have another plastic piece of plastic around here that I'm going to use. And what I know about Frida is that she loves uh, dragonflies. So I am going to use my Stazon ink and a dragonfly stamp, and I am going to stamp that right onto that plastic. All right, that to me is much, much better. So, how are we gonna get it in there? Will these pages come apart? Yes, they will. All right, little deconstruction here. I'm okay with that. this to size. And glue that in place with our tacky glue. I'm going to glue it down. All right, I have the new dragonfly window in here. I cannot put the rice bag on that side because of her lovely earrings. So I'll put the rice bag on this side and let it dry. Good morning, dark o'clock here in Vallejo, California. Coffee in hand, yoga done, little meditation. And now visiting her. I'm so much happier, so much happier. It's not over till it's over, right? So now it's your turn. <laughs> go create, go play, go have fun. We'll work on this page another time.